What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we have the final Xur location and inventory review before the final shape expansion. This one is from May 31st to June 2nd. Remember guys, you're not going to be able to play all of June 3rd because of a 24 hour maintenance period. And so, let's get started. And first things first, Xur is going to be located in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. Alright, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for the exotics, the Soros Regime, not a bad exotic auto rifle right here. Uh, Graviton Forfeit with a 69 roll, unfortunately quite a lot of uh, intellect, but other than that you have some discipline, recovery, mobility, not a bad roll, certainly uh, a good pickup for a lot of people, but again, like the massive intellect spike means it's not that insane. Whoa! Okay, we have a 70 stat Actium War Rig. 70 stat is unbelievably rare. Like, this, this rarely happens. But, again, with the massive intellect spike that you don't really want. Also, Titans really don't want that mobility. Unfortunate. Like, an okay pickup, but dang. Uh, then we have a 67 currency in armlets. Like, these stats are crazy. But way, way too much mobility. And then recovery, discipline, intellect. Yeah, it's just unfortunate, man. The, the, the totals are what you want, but the distribution sucks. All right, now as for the weapons. Whoa. Hold on a second. I mean, slide shot, opening shot, annual skates, actually not bad. Tack meg for a tiny bit of stability, unfortunately. We really don't have much range, however. Like, that's the downside of this. Not, not a bad roll, but uh, not insane. Surplus frenzy, legal action, no thank you. Uh, pugilist, Headstone, uh, Disparity, eh, I mean, Headstone's actually not terrible with this, but mm, I'm not super blown away by that. Surplus, Opening Shot, Far Future, I, th I think this is actually a good roll. Like, Opening Shot is amazing. Surplus, if you have those recharged abilities, like, that's a ton of handling, that's great. Accurized Rounds, Full Bore for even more range, Stability Masterwork to get it back a little bit of that flinch, not a bad PvP sniper, but also not like absolute god tier. Um, threat Detector Swash, Last Man Standing. It's okay. Uh, dang, we do have a Clown uh, Interference, but Threat Detector is really not... Like, who, who's putting Threat Detector on a heavy grenade launcher, Bungie? What the heck's going on there? Unfortunate. And then a Firing Line Genesis Recurrent Impact. Eh, not very good. Uh, now, the one in the back, Hawkmoon here, Eye of the Storm is actually pretty good. People underrate it. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Not very good. Uh, okay, so let's check the armor here. First of all, for the rarity of the Substitutional Alloy set on Light.gg. So, this set was originally introduced in Season of the Undying, Season 8, and then it was reintroduced in Season 15, and overall, it's a pretty common set, with over 41% of Guardians having access to this very helmet. I will say, however, 41% is actually kind of on the lower end of what Xur sells. Often you see high 40s into the 50s at this point, so could be worth a pickup for sure in terms of transmog and fashion purposes. Alright, now let's take a look at the stats here. 61 for these arms, resilience and strength, actually not a bad uh, pickup for like a melee build there. Uh, then we have 66 with a whole lot of recovery, would have been great for the Warlock, but if you're in need of recovery, that's pretty good. It has every stat except for mobility, which is kind of what Titans want, to be honest. Uh, then for the helmet, 65 mobility, discipline, little too, sorry, recovery, discipline, little too much mobility, it's okay. And then 67, this time with a big chunk of resilience, that's what we like to see. And then intellect, unfortunately, but not terrible either. Let's check the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, let's check the armor right here. First of all, we have a 65 gloves here with uh, way too much mobility, unfortunately. Just not spiky really at all. Then we've got uh, this chest piece here which is actually pretty darn good, like huge resilience spike, which Warlocks still want PvE damage resistance, or a recovery, discipline, a little bit of intellect, like this would be really good on a Titan, but it's still pretty good here on the Warlock. Uh, then we have 65, if you want the fastest uh, Warlock that's ever been in the game, pick this up for the mobility, otherwise, no thank you. And then 60 again with a ton of mobility. Well, let's check the Hunter and see if it's finally got some mobility. 
All right, for the Hunter, 65 with 30 recovery. Holy crap. Again, where is this for the Warlock, dude? This would be insane. Still, if you want recovery on your Hunter, I mean, this is an insane uh, piece right here. W what a spike. Uh, then we have 64. A lot of intellect, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, then we have 65. Mobility, resilience, and intellect. Uh, again, just like kind of okay. And then 63, not really too spiky. Uh, remember, guys, the last thing you got to make sure you do, spend those legendary shards. Legendary shards are being removed in the final shape. You might as well buy some exotics, buy some weapons you're kind of thinking maybe about. Like, the, you're not going to spend them on anything else, so why the heck not? Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.